अतमानं भवति शतायु पुरुष शतेन्द्रिय आयुष्येन्द्रिय प्रतिष्ठति अवर स्क्रिप्चर्स ब्लेस द वन पुलिस फॉर अदर्स विथ इज ब्लेसिंग दैट मे ही लिव अ हंड्रेड इयर्स एंड मे ही लिव विथ स्ट्रांग बॉडी एबल लिम्स सो दैट ही कैन सर्व मोर पीपल इन मोर वेज टूडे ऑन दिस वेरी स्पेशल अकेजन ऑफ महाराज जी बर्थडे This is what we pray that may he live long, may live healthy, and may he serve everybody in many more ways throughout his life. This is the special blessing that he has, for he is a Karana Janma, born for a reason, for a purpose, and the reason is to serve humanity. I am very glad to be here to celebrate this special occasion with him, and all of you who are his ardent followers and devotees of this mission. It's truly a blessing to be here, to be amongst all of you, especially on this special day. Our salutations to all the Swami Ji's who are there on the dais, all the important guests, and everybody else who is a part of this yagna. or dhyana yagna if i may call it where all of you are meditating with the idea to serve the humanity in a better way you are not meditating just for your own betterment your own sake but you are thinking of everybody thinking of the world peace so therefore this yag this has become a yagna a sacrifice in its own way and yagnat karma samudbhava all our actions should be yagna says bhagavad gita whatever we do let us do it for the sake of the welfare of all just now swami ji spoke maharaj ji spoke about sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niravaya may everybody be happy may everybody be healthy that is our great culture of india which this a prayer that we hear only in india and nowhere else that we pray for the entire humanity but we are just by praying we don't achieve we must act upon those prayers and one way of acting upon this is coming together as a sea of humanity to meditate to pray for everyone's welfare and that is going to go a long way we are all made of vibrations as it was just mentioned by maharaja ji we are just consciousness a sea of consciousness waves in the sea of consciousness while waves look different from the sea the ocean in truth they are one and the same they are all made of the same water since truth our existence is one and that is what binds us all together and that is the idea of one world one family as well vasudeva kutumbakam which is the mission motto of ours and we believe that the whole world is just one family whether we are rich or poor whatever be our skin color whatever be the continent or the country that we are born in whichever languages we speak whichever religions and philosophies we subscribe to we are still one family we are one world we are all children of the same divinity amrutasya putraha we are the children of this immortality is our scriptural truth and i'm glad that this idea is being spoken about discussed thought about so many times in so many ways whatever i've heard so far i understand that all of you completely convincingly believe in this idea that we are divine which is amazing to hear i we run a lot of schools and i tell the kids when your teacher says you are a dumb fellow you believe it when the teacher says you are of no use you believe it when teacher says there's nothing that you can do in life you believe it but when our scriptures say you are the very embodiment of divinity why don't you believe it <laughs> try believing that <laughs> and you will truly believe it you start living it your thoughts guide your words your words guide your action and your thoughts are nothing but your beliefs so when 